A community concerns tonight over what's on the shelves in some school libraries. One book in Indian River County has already been pulled from the shelves permanently and others might follow. WPTV News Channel 5's John Shaman explains this brewing controversy. Jennifer Pippen recently heard a mom in Pennsylvania read aloud a passage from the book All Boys Aren't Blue at a school board meeting and it got her attention. I said we need to look and see if these books are in our school district. The book's author an LGBTQ activist describes discovering his sexual identity as an adolescent. His story received many accolades upon its release last year, but Pippin was dismayed to discover it was in a high school library in Indian River County. One of many books, she says, is in violation of the state's pornography statutes. We found these books that have, you know, incest, pedophilia, um, sexually explicit pictures, sexually explicit text. Her group, Moms for Liberty, brought a list of library books to the attention of the school district. We're not burning books. We're following the state statutes that were written to protect children. Uh, some of the content that's been in our media uh, centers. In a recent Facebook attention. post, school superintendent uh, Dr. David Moore said all of those books have been removed from circulation while a formal review is being done. All Boys Aren't Blue was removed permanently. This organization doesn't get to tell me that what my kids should be reading. They don't speak for me. Community activist Michael Marsh says everyone can agree there shouldn't be pornography in schools, but some of the books in question aren't new. Why are there a problem now? When did these books enter the school district? So you got to look that these books didn't come in yesterday. These books have been here, but now all of a sudden, ooh, books scary. Pippin says she has two teens in the school system and adds her kids have not been exposed to anything inappropriate at school. She hopes it stays that way. If adults want their children to read this, they can order them from Amazon, Barnes & Noble. Um, I know that they're in the public library, a lot of these titles. We brought it to the attention of the superintendent, the school district, and they're taking care of it. So at what point is enough enough? A district spokeswoman says the removed book had never been checked out from Vero Beach High School. No word on when the fates of those other books will be decided, but I'm told that before any would go back into circulation, they'd have to be approved by both the district media specialist and that school's principal. In Indian River County, John Shane, WPTV, News Channel 5.